Good morning, Lighthouse. It's day seven. Uh, we're almost there. We're about a third of the way there. We've got one week under our belts. I'm getting ready for this morning's message. just want to bring a few words of encouragement to you. I'm going to be preaching this morning out of 1 Chronicles chapter 21. It's a story where David, uh, like many of us, kind of gets ahead of God. Uh, he gets to a place where he's experienced some great victories in his life, some great battles. He's experienced God's hand on his life. He's God's anointed. Uh, and so he thinks that he's in a place now where he can maybe do it without God. And so in chapter 21, we find here where uh, God allows Satan to tempt David. And we see that David fails in this and he calls a census on all the land. Uh, and he wants to count all of his men. Uh, this was kind of a, a status to uh, maybe set them up as a nation. And so we find here David just getting ahead of God like many of us have. And uh, I know that many of you have been fasting with us this week, and I'm so thankful that you are. And I know for some of you, this has really been a stretch. This has really been a, a sacrifice for you. And Scripture tells us that in order for us to experience salvation, in order for us to experience forgiveness, there has to be a sacrifice. We know without sacrifice, without, without shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. And so Jesus came and sacrificed his life for us. And so there are areas in our life through fasting that when we sacrifice and we take away food and we take away entertainment and we take away certain daily routines and habits in our life that we've grown accustomed to and that we feel like we need. And I know that for some of you, taking away meat from your diet is not a sacrifice. For some of you, taking away television or Facebook uh, or, or, or Coke or caffeine is not a sacrifice. But for a lot of people, it is. And so... I'm thankful for those of you that are fasting, that you are taking away things that truly is a sacrifice. We find here <clears throat> that after David disobeyed and he called for a census that God strikes down his people, sends an angel of the Lord and strikes down 70,000 people and continues to do that until David it, it admits his sin. And he goes and he purchases a piece of land and he, he buys this, he buys the threshing floor so that he can build an altar. And this would be the future side of the temple, but he purchases this and the owner tries to give it to him. But David says this, sell it to me at full price. And he goes on to say in verse 24, I will not give to the Lord an offering that doesn't cost me something. And so that's what you and I are doing this week in the next two weeks in this three weeks in this 21 days of fasting. We're trying to offer and present God something that's going to cost us something. We are sacrificing different areas of our life so that we can focus on the things of God so that we can, more importantly, get closer to God so that we can hear from God. I hope to see you this morning in service. If not, I'll see you this week or tomorrow. God bless you and have a good day.